Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, November the 8th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of Your Trading Room. Any questions for me, you can send to this email address. This is a link to get into our free trading room. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to join our room. And I get live at about, I, well, I start sharing my screen at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, and I get live on the mic at about 9.05, and I go to about 3.30 every day. This is a link that you can use to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas. Well, uh, what a day. Um, <laughs> President Trump is in China. So what happened today is we had a lot of these little China stocks with very low float situations. I don't, I don't even have a float for SPI. Somebody said, it's, it's really hard to know. They did a reverse split today, I think a 10 to 1. So, um, you know, it's hard to know exactly what the float is, but my goodness, look at the uh, look at this one. Um, a lot of us got into this one. I got in at 160. This came on the momentum channel, or my excuse me, moment, momentum less than ten dollars. This one right here, early, and got into it right here, and look what it spiked up to. And I actually got out. Um, but out some at 172 on the way out up one um uh i almost got the high actually i got out at uh two yeah 260 and then on the way down uh at 205 so just a tremendous uh and it's very very quick i mean this is less than i'm in and out of this probably i don't think i was in longer than 10 minutes so you know, maybe maybe even shorter so just a tremendous uh, uh trade based on the fact i mean this is and i'm going to show you the next one this uh, i wish i had a better story for me <laughs> kbsf well you know i have the grand sum of three shares at 950 right now i tried to get a i tried to get some and all they filled me was at three fit at uh, three shares at 950 but i did trade uh this one um little earlier uh, got in and out of it several times and I'm thinking about maybe holding on to this. this is another China stock and if you take a look at the daily on it see what happened create well look, look, look at the craziness today but you think that was crazy look at this so this is a three-day move for this one you know this one started you know it was a low at 245 closes at um, 434 this is on earlier this year february 9th the next day was all the way up to 1138 you figure well that's got to be it the next day it goes all the way up to 18 not saying it's going to happen again but this is what traders are looking at they're looking at a pattern and thinking wow i mean even if it got up to half or a quarter of this i mean it would be awesome and that 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 is in essence what it what is uh, sort of happening but then of course it just collapsed i mean th th that was the end and then it collapsed and it collapsed and it went down to you know basically did nothing and then today i do believe they had a change in their ceo or board of directors or something like that but also trump is in is in china today and so a lot of these china stocks are just popping that's somebody said uh, that happened the last time he was there so oops i didn't want to do that just uh just one second I just got to load that chart on my other monitor. Okay. So I am in this one. This is from Holly. It's, uh, it's taking its time. 619. The alert was at 603. Got in at 607. And, you know, I'm just going to kind of hold on. It only has 19 million in the float. Again, I think if we look at a daily chart, this is kind of what convinced me to take a look at it. You know, you just look left. <laughs> Holly was really trying many, 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 many times to buy this one. I mean, there are the early buys, and it did move up all the way. So maybe now it's it's, it's another start uh, to um, you know to start to fill that void. So I'm in, still in this one, and uh, you know what? I may in fact hold it if if it uh, closes well. You know, it may start to get back up to that seven level. And now this one did not work out for me with Holly. Um, you know. This was a very, very tough. Um, you know, I know Dan comes in the room every now and then says, don't worry about the spread, but this was a really, really tough spready one. Uh, no way could you get the, the, uh, the alert was at 1904 and it was already about 1940 and the spread was uh, 40 cents. I did end up taking, I thought, okay, I'm going to take just a little bit. 
I got in at 1950. Got in at 1950. And actually, the bid got up to 1950, and you know the ask was 1980. I thought, okay, well maybe you know we can get close to 20, and then the bid just collapsed, and I was very lucky to get out at uh, at 19. Uh, take a look at what it did afterwards. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, it got all the way down to 1841. I mean, that was just a terrible, terrible candle. The, the, the only reason I took this one, uh, I would not normally take one. I don't care if it's from Holly or not, if it's a uh, spready one, but it, it was an earnings play. So I thought, okay, maybe, uh, you know, with the earnings, it should be active all day long. And maybe, you know, people will uh, will look, try to tighten that spread up just a little bit, but it just didn't happen. So anyway, that is, um, that's what happened on that one. And that's really about it. I'm still in my swing from yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, F-A-N-H. I'm in this one at uh, 1664. So back here, I did sell some, you know, yesterday, so I don't have that much left, but I'm still trying to hold on. Take a look at the daily on it. And, you know, there's, you know, I'd have to take out this high, of course, of yesterday, but there's really nothing uh, left. So uh, when you look left on the daily chart, there's really nothing to stop it. So I'm um, going to uh, we're gonna keep holding this one. If I think if I broke down through 17, I'll get out. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm still in uh, CFIS. This is my wonderful swing <laughs> from here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I wish here. <laughs> 30, uh, 35, 60. And, you know, it's 47.77. I've, I've got an alert set at 50. Uh, I did sell some yesterday for about an $11 gain. I did sell some on the day I got it for a $1. And I sold some yesterday for an 11 And now just kind of holding on to see if it uh, can maintain this. And uh, maybe get to 50 Who knows? So, um, wow. Look at uh, KBSF. Um, I, I mean, it's so crazy. I only have three shares. <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to cover the commission. But, um, you know, I'll probably hold those three. And I may even add, I, even, I, I, I might see how it closes today. Because I guarantee a lot of traders will look at this and they'll look left. And they'll see, wow, maybe it'll have a second day. But this is just obviously phenomenal. Two to ten in, you know, less than a trading day. All right. Well, itching to get back into the room. So let me get the capture icon up. All right, so again, if you want to ask me any questions, this is the email address you can use, and this is the link to get into the room. Basically, uh, copy and paste that into your browser, click on it, you'll, uh, you'll see a form, um, give us your email, we'll send you back an email, you'll create a password. One time, it is 100% free, we don't ask you for a credit card or anything, you do not have to be a subscriber, and we have a lot of tremendous traders in the room, so... Um, you know, we're all throwing ideas out all day long. And plus the other, the other thing I'm doing, of course, is helping people understand how to use trade ideas. That's why the room is free so that uh, we can support our subscribers, plus anybody who's new and thinking about uh, joining. So I will open the room tomorrow at uh, 9 o'clock Eastern time and get live on the mic at 9.05. So hope everybody has a great evening and we'll see you tomorrow in the trading room. Bye-bye.